Hello everyone, Brett McCray here with your Farm and Ranch News. During the first half of 2023, we saw big changes in the cattle market. Prices are higher across the board as tighter cattle numbers and beef supplies have shifted market leverage to producers and feedlots. The most important factor for the market going forward into the second half of this year will be heifer retention. That's according to Oklahoma State livestock market expert Daryl Peel. Lower cow and heifer slaughter rates would indicate that producers are choosing to retain those heifers for breeding, which will influence herd rebuilding in the future. Although cow slaughter is down a little more than 12% compared to 2022, analysts don't predict substantial herd rebuilding in the short term thanks to ongoing drought and high costs. USDA released the latest round of crop progress reports on Monday, showing another week of slight increases in the condition ratings for major cash crops following a long decline. In the Treasure State, both the winter, spring and wheat crops look promising. More than half of both those crops are rated good to excellent. Conrad farmer Brandon Phillips talks about the incredible difference between this year and last. Yeah, this year was uh, totally total 180 from last year. Started out early on in the spring, lots of winter moisture that melted off, and you know, it was a mad dash to get things seeded before the rainstorms, which is something we didn't have last year either. Thanks for joining us for your Ag Report. We'll be back in an hour with your markets. We asked Montana farmer Walt Sales about the challenges of mental health in agriculture. Another drought, there always is. There's always gonna be another something. I grew up in a generation of you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps, but it's become evident is what do you do if you can't even find those bootstraps? If you need to talk to somebody, go to beyondtheweather.com for free counseling for Montana ag producers. Hello everyone, Brett McRae back with more ag news and your markets. The Department of Agriculture releases its latest World Agriculture Supply and Demand Estimates report today. The July report doesn't typically move markets, but thanks to drought in the Midwest, there is a good chance that corn yield estimates could come down and the market shaking information from last month could be updated. Traders will also be closely watching USDA's estimates for world ending wheat stocks as harvest activity picks up in the northern hemisphere. Those world wheat supplies are currently marked at their lowest levels in 16 years. Cash cattle prices holding mostly steady again last week with packers expected to be more aggressive in this week's market. The way up market continues to see very strong demand. Average dressing slaughter cows in Torrington on Friday from 113 to 127. Bulls from 125 up to 137 and a half. At the sheep market in Sioux Falls last week, 80 to 99 pound lambs, five to seven dollars more from 175 to 192 dollars per hundredweight. And grain markets found support Tuesday thanks to progress reports that found corn and beans in the worst shape since major drought year 2012. Winter wheat harvest is also way behind schedule because of precipitation down south. Harvest is 46 percent complete far behind the five-year average pace for winter wheat of 59%. Thanks for tuning into your Ag Report. From the Northern Ag Network, I'm Brett McRae.